Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. This week we'll show you how to use one of our best selling products, the Solus Thermometer. We'll show you how to pair and customize the device with the Solus Thermal app on your phone or tablet, as well as answer some of the common questions we have from our customers. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to learn something new every week. Now let's get right into the video. We'll first start with how to pair the device. In this part, what you'll need is our Solus thermometer and a phone or tablet. First, we'll download the app called Solus Thermo, available in both App Store and Google Play. Next, you'll click Open. The app will ask for your permission to use Bluetooth, and then click OK. It asks again to send you a notification. Click Allow since you want to be notified when your food's cooked. Turn on your thermometer by inserting the two AA batteries and press and hold this button. And once the thermometer is on, click Start on the app. It'll take a few seconds to scan the device. Then the app will ask you to press the thermometer's button once to confirm the device. At the same time, you will see the Bluetooth icon blinking on the thermometer screen. Press the button on your thermometer and the app will start pairing within a few seconds and show you if it successfully activated the thermometer. And then click done. Now the pairing is done. Let's see how to customize the thermometer using the app. Once the pairing is done, the app will look like this when you first open it. On the top, you can see the thermometer's battery level, as well as the connection icon in red. If there is no connection, a text, no connection, will be displayed, and the icon will be gray. To change the general settings, tap on this row. And now you can change the temperature unit, either between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Can allow the phone to send you a notification when the connection is lost. The alarm interval, will allow you to select how long of the break time you want between each alarm for the same probe. I'll keep it set at five minutes for now. Next, there are a few ringtone selections for you to choose from, and you can choose whether or not you want the alarm vibration to be on or not. In case you want to delete the device for repairing, you can do this by clicking the trash icon in the top right hand corner here. And back to the main menu, Right below that, you can see six open slots corresponding with the six probes. First, it's optional, but let's change the color for this slot here to match with a probe that I have here. Click probe color indicator, and then select the color and click OK. Next, you can set a timer for when you want to check on your food or flip it. You can also add a note in case you forget what the alarm is for. Then click set timer. And lastly, click desired temperature to select which temperature you want your food to be done cooking at. To save you the trouble, we have a list of preferred food temperatures. Just select the one that you want, then click set preset. Back to the main menu again, you can see all your settings will appear here. The current temperature, the desired temperature, and the timer. And that's it for how to pair and customize your thermometer. Let's get into some of the frequently asked questions. So our first question here, why doesn't my thermometer turn on? Usually this is because of the connection between the batteries and the unit, or the batteries are dead. Usually, uh, users can troubleshoot by removing the batteries from the thermometer, setting them aside for 10 minutes, and then reinserting them back into the unit. If the thermometer still doesn't turn on, try inserting a fresh new pair of batteries, and if both cases still doesn't fix the issue, please contact our support team for further assistance. So our next question here, I'm having issues with pairing the thermometer, how can I fix it? Uh, so first, you'll want to make sure that you have the correct app downloaded, it's called the Solus Thermal app, and it looks like this. Um, if you have an Android, make sure to allow the app to access location while using the app. 
And if the device is connected, but it can't be customized, then try to delete that device on the app and start the pairing process again. You can also try to use another phone if you can, or if the app is asking for any sort of pin on the app, you're either using the incorrect app or connecting directly to the Bluetooth. Another question we have here, can I put the probe inside the oven? So yes, you can leave the whole probe in the oven if the temperature inside the oven is below 482 degrees Fahrenheit, since this is the maximum temperature that the handle can resist. And again, please remove this uh, plastic wrap here from the probe. This is made out of plastic, so it most likely will melt if it goes in the oven. And also be sure to remove this plastic end on the end of the probe. Another important note is to not place the thermometer itself on any hot surfaces since it could melt or cause permanent damage. And our next question we have here, how do I clean the probe? So to clean the probe, you simply just use a wet cloth to wipe it off. And please note that the probes are not waterproof and so we advise not to rinse them or expose them to any liquid or dishwasher. And our next question we have here, what is the range of Bluetooth? So the Bluetooth range is 100 feet and any further than that, the connection between the app and the thermometer will be lost. And our last question we have here, can I use this thermometer without pairing it to a phone? So yes, the unit can be used without the app. However, most of the features that the thermometer offers are through the app, such as the temperature graphs over time, the setting of different alarms, and changing the temperature settings. The app also makes it easier for users to track individual meats simultaneously. And that's it for today's video. Hope you found it useful. And if you have any more questions or video suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to learn something new every week. We'll see you next time.